next into the tank is a way to spruce up a common meal. Hey Sharks, I'm Brett. And I'm AJ. And we're seeking $100,000 in exchange for 20% of our company. Sharks, would you enjoy eating the same thing every single day? Of course you wouldn't, and dogs don't like it either. That's why AJ and I created Shake It Pup Dog Food Seasoning. Dogs get tired of eating the same thing over and over again. And with such limited diets, they miss out on important nutrients. But don't take our word for it. Just ask Chef Cooper. Aww. Hey, Coop. <laughs> Do you like eating the same boring <laughs> so food every single day? We're shaking up and waking up the dog food industry. With Shake It Pup, our furry family members can now enjoy a human-like mealtime experience with a new feast to look forward to every single day. But what does it take? It takes just one shake to turn that land dog food into a filet mignon. You'll be your dog's personal gourmet chef with just the shake of a bottle. Chef Cooper, what's on tonight's main course? <laughs> Pizza it is. Our handcrafted all natural recipes allows pup parents to tailor their meals directly to their dog's unique tastes and nutritional requirements. <laughs> There's a seasoning for every reason and every season. Sharks. With your help, we'll be able to streamline production and take a bite out of the dog food industry. So who's ready to shake hands and shake it up? <laughs> <laughs> Chef Cooper does have samples for all of you as well. Hey. Here. We hey. Here. Thank you, sir. Miss You're welcome. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. You are welcome. And it's all human grade, all local and organic ingredients and natural. This is just a seasoning, right? So it goes on top of all the food that we serve. Correct. So compared to a lot of toppers, if you put a freeze-dried topper or meat, for example, dogs just pick it out. They eat around it. We always make the joke that, you know, dogs are like kids. They eat the marshmallows and cereal and leave everything else. What we do is completely coats the food. So it adds a whole new flavor profile and you're able to mix up meals without changing their diet completely. What else is out there that's comparable? Our main competitors are wet foods that we find and then as well as freeze-dried toppers, meat based. Well then let's get into the numbers. How, Prove yeah. it out, right? How long Tell us have you yeah. been okay. in, in So business? in the first annual year, we launched a little over a year ago. In the, in, uh, the last annual year, we've done $105,000 in sales. Initially when we launched, we were still producing this in-house. It's a 350 square foot headquarters, my living facilities and our production facilities. So we grew really fast. We found traction right away. We got in my truck and drove to every store and vent in California. But we ran into production issues right away. Okay. And we became very agile. In other words, you sold out. And we sold out. You don't have a co-packer yet. We don't have a co-packer. Are you still so in that same apartment? Yes. So we actually have invested everything we've made back into small equipment, production equipment, but we're not production guys. We're not manufacturing guys. Right. We've done this out of necessity. How much are these selling for each unit? Sure, so on average, about $2.45 is our cost to make them, and they sell for $12.99. Good what? for you. Wow, $12.99. We knew you'd like each, that. Yeah, that was, uh, and each bottle lasts 30 to 60 meals. You're not saying a lot. What are you doing I know, because obviously he speaks so well, and he knows he's on top of everything, so <laughs> well, I just got to kind of so let him go with it. What is your it. background? Yeah, of course. Like any good story, We've been best friends since second grade, and we met on the school bus, and our friendship has kind of always revolved around dogs. The very first moment I met him, sounds so romantic. I know. <laughs> um, oh, it's Lord. not, was, it it's not I, romantic, I, don't worry. I, I was on the school bus, and my dog at that time, Bailey, wasn't doing too well, and on the way home, I just had the sense that Bailey died. And I started crying on the bus, and Brett was sitting in the seat behind me, peeks his head over and asks, why are you crying? We start talking. He tells me about his dogs, Maddie and Buddy, and here we are today. Okay, we so let, let's get back to business. Okay. All right, so the challenge is capital. Every company's gonna go through that. If I only had more money, I could reach everybody, but right. there's a point of diminishing returns. Sure. So tell us about your inventory right now. So right now we have about 3,000 bottles, and that's about a month and a half supply for us. 
Essentially, we are ordering when we get the POs. Have you gone investigated any co-packers in the spice space, for example? We have, and we know the minimums are going to be about 3,000 bottles per SKU, okay. and we're still narrowing down the actual price per... Give me a range. That would drop our cost down to close to $2. What do you need us for? We cannot produce this ourselves anymore. We need a partner. So right now we pay 37% of our costs, our packaging and labeling, which is astronomical because we don't have any purchasing power. Over the last decade of Shark Tank, I have seen every crazy doggy idea and then more. And every single one of them goes through the roof when people see it. It's, it's sick. It's so crazy how much money people spend on dogs. So I'm converted, okay? I get it, I get it. I think this idea is nuts, but I know it's gonna work because I look at dogs eating kibble saying, that must be boring as hell. And a little pizza, whatever it is, it's interesting, but it's a massive marketing problem. Um, I think it's a nightmare. You guys Why are do you just think it's so a early. Problem? Because no one knows about this, and you're gonna have exactly, to. Exactly, that's the beauty of it. There's yeah, so many it, people know about so many things. It's so and this early. Is you. I'm willing to make you an offer. Here it is. It <laughs> reflects the risk, but I don't have a doggy doo doo in Says my portfolio the man right who's now. Like, this Kevin is always nuts, talks up the risk so he can undercut of it off. But you're going. Yeah. Look, it's better than nothing. You want to hear it or not? So silence from the doggy gallery. Well, I do. So. I am going to make an offer. Here it is. I'm going to give you the hundred thousand dollars, but commensurate with how early stage you are and the nightmare of. I bet he's going to ask for a royalty. <laughs> silence, please. <laughs> I want fifty percent. Oh. oh, that's Let's worse. Let's have it. That's worse. Lots of noise. I hear lots of noise. Yeah. I don't hear any offers. You're I give hear noise. What? All right, now. Uh, so I hear. I hear. What? What? Are, what, 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 barking. what, what, what is that? Doggy's barking. I want fifty percent. What do you say? Uh, <laughs> I'm, gonna ask, I'm gonna have to feel out the room and see if there's some other. You know, you yet. really should because you don't get anything else. All roads go back to Mr. Me, Wonderful me, as usual. Maybe I can help you with, with a decision. I, you know, I, I think it's a genius idea, but I, I think that this is a speed to market thing that you have to do. And I think that honestly, a lot of the big boys and girls they're going to start putting a lot of these offerings in, and it's going to be a challenge to fight that. And so I'm out. And to speak to that, thank you. Uh, Damon, but as far as dog food companies, we were in that industry. We speak with a lot of the big boys. They won't touch any toppers or enhancers with a 10-foot pole. They don't want to touch it because it can, what does that say about their dog food? Yeah, and this isn't something you want to release with a dog food manufacturer, right? Mm -hmm. It sounds like your biggest inhibitor has just been your ability to make it. Right. You have more demand than you can fulfill right now. Right. I'm going to go ahead and say, I, I love your brand. I love your marketing. I love the category that you're in. There's a lot of opportunity, but I also feel that it's very crowded. And this is very niche. This is like a second step process. So to feel like I have to get another something to put on the food that I already put on the plate just seems like a lot. And for that reason, I'm out. So I think this is really interesting because I do know people that have dogs that are very, very picky. I don't know for sure, I haven't been able to test this, but I think people love their dogs. And I think they would like their dogs to have a more fun life experience. So why not make your dog's food better? Maybe you could make cat food better too, right? It's good, a good 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 food. I mean, if it works, it could become a line of something. So I like everything about it. Um, so I'm gonna give you the 100,000. You have a lot of margin here in your product, okay? I'm gonna ask for a dollar per unit until I get the 100,000 back. Then I'll go down to 25 cents a unit. Oh. Um, in perpetuity. Forever and ever. In perpetuity. I would never do that deal. <laughs> but I'm only asking for 3% equity. That's it. I'm not gonna be a 20% partner. Do you know, I'm the king of royalties, and I know when you can extract 3% of the company one, leaves you, you with your company. It. You don't have enough capital to do that. Well, I'm giving them capital. And it then, if we're no doing sense. fabulously, I'll continue to bankroll the purchase orders. But those are two offers. What are you going to do, Mark? So last year, I did a deal with a company called Wild Earth that does organic dog food. Wild Earth has been a great success because dog owners really care about their pet health, and they will spend anything to do it the right way. I think this would be a great combination. I'm not asking for a royalty, but I do want equity, right? Because I think this can grow, and I think that's where the upside is. So I'll offer you $100,000 for 25% equity. Uh, well, let us, let us talk to Cooper. Oh, wait, you got to talk about it? Aww. Oh. Aww. I think we have a deal. Done. <laughs>
Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Man. Thanks. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you, it, guys. Mark. And you too. Yeah, we're gonna do some business and make you some money. Sweet Thanks, dog. guys. Thank you for your time. Thank you very Good much. Good luck, guys. Good presentation. Good yeah. presentation. Thank you. We were in our 350 square foot studio, and then today to shake hands with Mark Cuban and have him on as a partner is just insane to us. Come here, we did it! We did it! Yeah. Yeah. Oh.